Good morning and welcome to our workshop on creating eye-catching campaigns. Powerful visuals can make or break your email marketing campaign. In this live 20-minute workshop, we'll show you how to use Canva and how the integration of Canva and Constant Contact are going to save you time and make beautiful visuals for all your email marketing campaigns. Okay. Yeah, and this is actually the very last one in a series that we've been running since I think March or something about email marketing. So you can always go back and look. Um, we have them on our YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, so please join us. And uh, Dixie has pulled out some fantastic slides and uh, examples today. Thank you. Well, if you're a regular here, you already know that Constant Contact is the industry leader in email marketing. Katrina and I use it for our own business, and we also recommend it to all of our small business and nonprofit clients. Constant Contact helps you create emails that stand out on any device. They have hundreds of pre-designed templates suited for every occasion and platform, and the easy-to-use editor means you don't need a degree in marketing to design beautiful, effective campaigns. So let's look for a moment at a side-by-side -side comparison. Here we have a plain text email that you might send out through Gmail or Outlook or Yahoo. And here is that exact same text. Let me get it up. There we go. Plugged into an email template from Constant Contact. So just the addition of the header makes it look so much more professional. And that button, the call to action that says register now, makes it easy for people to take action. But if we add an eye-catching graphic that we created with Canva, now this email really pops both on desktop and on mobile. Plus, I can use the same image on our website, on Facebook, Instagram, Yahoo, um, Yahoo um, all for a compelling and comprehensive campaign. So side by side, there's really no comparison. And the entire thing, including the graphic, the email, and the social media post, took me less than 20 minutes. So today, we will show you how. So let's start with Canva. If you're not familiar, Canva is an online design platform for people who are not graphic designers. Um, and just so you know, we are not affiliated with Canva in any way. So we don't get you know anything if you sign up. Um, I'm just a Canva nerd. Uh, it's probably my favorite thing on the internet, and I feel strongly that if you're not using it, you should be. Um, we love it because first and foremost, it's easy to use. It has a drag and drop editor, so you don't need an art degree to make beautiful eye-catching uh, visuals. Um, my 11-year-old made his own birthday party invitations for Canva, so it's very accessible. Um, secondly, there's a free version and it's very robust, unlike a lot of free resources out there. Uh, the free plan includes more than a million photos and a quarter million templates for you to customize. Um, if you decide to upgrade, it's not crazy expensive. It's like less than Netflix. Um, so it's something that's pretty accessible to everyone. And lastly, and what we're gonna cover today, is that Canva integrates seamlessly with a lot of email service providers like MailChimp, HubSpot, and our favorite, Constant Contact. So let's take a quick example of how you might use Canva to create a custom graphic. So I'll walk you through it step by step. So this is Canva's homepage, canva.com, and here you can start either by selecting a type of image, such as a Facebook post or collage. Um, there's also Instagram posts, YouTube thumbnails, flyers, invitations, seriously everything, or you can do a keyword search to browse different subject matter. So for today's example, we're gonna look for dogs. So here you see that Canva has nearly 9,000 templates just having to do with dogs. So imagine the possibilities for your industry. You could search for real estate, um, travel, theater, law, whatever your industry, and you're gonna find design inspiration. Then simply scroll down to Browse and click to select the template that you want. Here you can use the image as is, or you can quickly customize it for your organization with just a few clicks. You can select the background color um, in the upper left there, 
can change it to any color of the rainbow. Um, ideally, something that matches the colors in your logo or the colors on your website. If you have icons or any kind of background element, you can click on those also to change the color or the transparency. You can also click on an object to delete it all together. You can click on a text block to change the wording, the color, or the font. We like to be consistent with these and use the same font on all the communications in a campaign to keep the look cohesive. You can also duplicate text blocks as well. And of course, it's always a good idea to add your logo to help brand your communications. So that was a very basic example, but the idea here is that just a few clicks and a matter of minutes, you've gone from browsing the Canva templates to customizing an eye-catching graphic that's going to grab attention in your next email marketing campaign. So once you've created your graphic in Canva, you can easily export it to your constant contact library for immediate use and to have available for future campaigns, including future emails, social media posts, and even landing pages. So let's take a look at how we would do that. So from your Canva account, you're gonna click Create a Design and select the type of graphic that you wanna create. So this is kind of what I just showed you. You can customize it as much or as little as you like, um, as we went through in the previous example. So once you've finished and you're happy with your design, you're gonna click Share in the top right corner. And from the drop-down menu, you select More. You're gonna search for Constant Contact or whatever your email service provider, and then select it from the menu. You'll click Use, and this is what is going to publish your design to your Constant Contact library. And then finally, you need to choose connect to get the two talking to each other. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to log into your Constant Contact account. So we know many of you are Constant Contact users, but if you don't have an account, if you're curious, if you wanna give it a try, um, let us know and we'll hook you up with one, um, including a discount. Click Allow to grant permission for Canva to connect to your account. And if you ever wanted to disconnect it for any reason, you can do that and that's located within the Canva editor. So you always have that option. And then from the drop-down menu, you're gonna select the file type that you want. So such as a JPEG or a PNG, you have several different options there and just save it. And finally, you're gonna select View in Constant Contact, and that way it's gonna open Constant Contact and you can use it in the campaign that you're working on. So here I'm going back to Constant Contact. This is the editor, so you can see kind of what it looks like. So if you open up a template, often it'll have this blank um, image block, or you can insert one using that little icon on the left. Then you're gonna open up your library and select that fancy new Canva graphic that is already connected because you put the two together. You're gonna to select that from your library and bam, beautiful email ready to go. Um, and I know Katrine, you have some best practices you wanna share about the text that's on the image itself. Yes, so um, it is important to, to remember that the text you have in an image that you also need to actually print it out within um, the email. So in this case, we have um, the day and the time in the text because a lot of people are using their cell phones and that text is really hard to see every Monday and Thursday. So it's important that you have the most important information also in the email text because that, so people don't have to zoom in in order to see it um, and um, uh, the big text their strengths training classes uh, everyone can see but the other are not so make sure you don't 
only put a picture with text on it. Some people, including me, in order to um, speed up my cell phone and the emails that come in, I actually have to click to have a email show the image. It's a way for me to quick up my, my emails. So if there is nothing more than an empty box in there, I don't even know what they're talking about. So in order to have to click on it to know what it's all about because they put everything in the image that is not uh, good for user friend and it's not user friendly. Yeah. Absolutely. There used to be a trend where people would send the entire email would be one big image, almost like a digital flyer. Um, and there would be no text at all. And that's really not a good best practice. You want to have the image because people are very visually oriented. It catches their eye. Um, but always, like Katrine said, have the details, the important details as well in the text. Well, thank you. Um, so now because it's in your library, that same graphic is also available to use in other ways. So since you've taken the time to customize it in Canva, now when it's in constant contact, you could also use it in your social media post, which can be created and scheduled within the editor. So it's kind of a one-stop shop. Um, so I know I flew through those super quick. We are trying to show you as much as possible in this 20 minute workshop. Um, but if you missed a step, if you were trying to take notes, um, not to worry, we're gonna send out a follow-up email later today. It's gonna have a replay of this live video so you can revisit those step-by-step. -step. And I do have a question regarding this. We have several questions here, but Debbie is asking, if we can show one of those uh, steps in here and it is going in the follow-up but also um if you're already in constant contact you can connect with canva from constant contact in this case and uh, dixie showed what canva is because you might not be familiar with it but you are using constant contact so you can absolutely start within constant contact and that way um, you can connect as well, Debbie. Yeah, and there's two places to do that, Debbie. You can do that from your Constant Contact library. There's a little button, and also within a campaign itself. So if you're already working on an email campaign, um, there's a button there that you can use to connect to Canva. So you can do it three different ways. That was a great question. Yeah, and um, if so you've been following our series here, we have done a couple of um, uh, workshops on how to use images and how to put them in your email and we have always talked about your own images are always the best that's the most um, uh, that's the most people like those and constant contact has a few but of course with canva now you have many many more uh, uh, images that you can import yeah they're two great resources but the integration of the two is what i love um, so we're going to pause here a moment to take any more questions that you might have. Um, comments are welcome too. So just go ahead and type those in. Um, this has been just a quick overview of two of our favorite resources, Canva for designs, um, Constant Contact for email marketing, and how you can use the simple integration of the two. It just saves a lot of time so you're not uploading and downloading um, and really makes for beautiful eye-catching graphics. Um, and I love it because then I can use it across all of our platforms. So some of you are here today because you saw that we were having this webinar. Um, you might have seen it on our Instagram or on our Facebook. We use the same graphic. We'll use it on YouTube later. We use it in the email and we use it in this PowerPoint. So I've used that one graphic in a lot of different ways. Um, save me time and it makes it all look very cohesive together. So I think that's a good example. Yeah, um, and very often you start with one image that is your main image and you have you might need it in different formats, but you also might need uh, more or less um, text on it. For example, if you're gonna use this on your Google business profile, um, Google in that, in that context likes to have less information uh, on there. And there are some pieces of information such a phone number and a web address you can't even show. Um, so that's good. You can put it in there and you just copy and copy and have different versions with different amount of text and different um, sizes that will work best on the platform where you're going to post it. That is a great point. 
And I see if we have another question here about the cost for these resources. So that's a good question. Um, so Canva, as we mentioned, um, does have a free version that is very robust. And for a lot of you, that's probably going to be all you need. Um, if you fall in love with it like me and you want access to a larger library of images and more features, they do have pro versions that range from, I think, $120 to $150 a year. So not a month, a year. Um, so that's very affordable. Um, for Constant Contact, which is the email service provider, that starts at like $10 a month for up to 500 email addresses. Um, if you're lucky and you have a huge amount of emails, um, it goes up from there in a tiered pricing schedule based on the number of email addresses. Um, so again, $10 a month, super affordable. Um, we even have a discount link for 30% off your first three months that we can um, share with you. So if you're still communicating with customers, and donors and volunteers via Gmail, we want you to repent of that <laughs> and get on the right path today. Um, so Katrine, do we have any other questions in the box? Um, I, I think we uh, answered Debbie's questions and I think that's, yeah, except for what you just uh, talked about, so yeah. Well, we'll give you your email address if you think of some afterwards. So now that our email marketing series has come to a close, we're turning our attention to the holidays. So the holiday season is upon us and it is make or break for many businesses and not just retailers. So you really need to start planning now if you wanna get your slice of the holiday pie. So start brainstorming in your organization about Black Friday, Cyber Monday offers, um, and that's not just for consumer goods. You can have offers for all different types of businesses, even nonprofits. So we're going to cover that. We'll see you back here in two weeks when we show you um, what to do about your holiday offers and how to market them. So we'll hope you'll join us for that. Katrine and I are with Easy Marketing. We're no located in Northeast Florida with clients throughout the U.S. and abroad. We specialize in website design and maintenance, email marketing, social media management, and graphic design. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're interested in constant contact, here's that 30% offer I mentioned. Um, it's good for the first three months, so it's a great way to give it a try. And if you open your account using the link here, and we'll also put it in the follow-up email, um, we'll help you kickstart your campaign by designing a custom template for your organization to get you started. So let us know if that's something that you think might help you. We always do a drawing after every webinar for a free consultation. So please check your follow-up email later today to see if you've won. And we're also going to include a copy of this slide deck. So if you wanted to see again, kind of step-by-step -step how to work in Canva and then how to connect it to Constant Contact, that'll be a good resource for you. And you can also share it um, with someone else in your organization. And if you need a little help getting started, again, with email marketing, social media, graphic design, website, or we often just do consultations to take a look at what you're doing and what you could be doing better and kind of point you in the right direction, we're happy to do that. Here's our contact information. If you think of questions after the webinar, we welcome those as well for just a call away. So thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time, and we will see you back in two weeks to tell about holiday marketing. See you then, guys. Thank you.